I just love how the Word of God speaks to us. You can read a passage dozens of times and all of a sudden something jumps out at you that really speaks to you and that's that's what the Word of God does and it speaks right to our hearts and that's the case in our reading today, uh, John chapter 12, 13 and 14. And the verse that really stood out was John 12, verse 3. Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spikenard, anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. I just love that. Uh, you know, I don't know how many times I have read that particular verse, dozens of times, but yet uh, just really stands out to me today. Uh, and I, I know that I've even noticed this before, maybe even if I went back and looked in the archives of all my Some Good Seeds, I might find a, a video about that. But uh, today, it just is uh, important as she wiped Jesus' feet with her hair. Uh, the thing that stood out is that she, she took on the very fragrance that he had. The same fragrance that was on him with the oil being poured out was the very fragrance that she had. And, and the whole house was filled with the fragrance. And, and then it lingered in the air probably for some time. However, when Mary left the room, she took that fragrance with her. And everywhere she went, the aroma that emanated from her was the self-same aroma that was there upon Jesus. It just speaks to me of, of what being in his presence does to a person. Uh, we get the privilege of being in his presence, of you know, hanging out with him, if you will. And when we do that, we wind up smelling just like him. And the room where we are is filled with the fragrance of his presence. What, what a privilege it is to smell like him. Uh, for it's, it's the aroma of heaven. And, and I, I'm just so thankful for that. I, I have experienced a, a few times in my life when having been at church in a prayer meeting or something of that nature, just been blessed by the presence of the Lord and went out back out into the public and had someone question me about, you know, where have you been? What's going on with you? And was able to share with them. I've just been, just been in the presence of the Lord. It's a blessing because it opens up doors. Well, that's... Um, I'm not just trying to talk about having an experience kind of thing, but I am talking about our lives being so filled with Christ that it causes people to question, causes them to wonder who we are, what's going on with us. And I'm just thankful for the privilege that is ours. I love what Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 through 17. He says this, Now thanks be to the God who always leads us in triumph and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one, we are the aroma of death leading to death, and to the other, the aroma of life leading to life. And who's sufficient for these things? For we are not, as so many, peddling the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as, but as of sincerity, but as from God, we speak in the sight of God in Christ. And so, uh, dear ones, our lives should be um, exemplary, lives filled with the fragrance of the Lord Jesus Christ because we've been in his presence spending time with him. And I pray that today you'll take that time to spend with him, worshiping him, allowing the Holy Spirit just to move and work in your life. It takes time to do that. It's very purposeful. It's intentional. And we must discipline ourselves to do that. I remember a dear lady said to me one time, I had so much to do today, I had to pray twice as long. And I kind of went, what? And then it dawned on me what she was saying. Time spent in his presence is so valuable and makes every other thing else, every, every other thing seem uh, like we can get those things done faster or more efficiently or whatever. I don't know what it is, but time in his presence is well, well worth it. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today. And hey, if these things are a blessing, like us on Facebook, share it on your page, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Be sure and put a, click the little like button down there. That really helps get the word out to spread the aroma. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today.